Time now for this week's Ask Kelly segment. And today's question will give us some Pittsburgh geography and history knowledge. Kelly, my name is Tom West. I'm from McKeesport. I was just wondering if you could research why on a map of Pittsburgh, there's a green section on there. It looks like it's a forest. Um, just wondering, it's even on the maps that you use on Channel 4. Okay, so this right here is what Tom is referring to. So you can see all the other neighborhoods here in Pittsburgh in that color. Well, they belong to the city of Pittsburgh, but this is the borough of Mount Oliver, a holdout that maintains its independence. I sometimes compare it to Cheers. Like you want to go where everybody knows your name, and, and that's how Mount Oliver is. Mount Oliver Borough Manager Ricky Hopkinson describes the people of Mount Oliver as diverse and friendly. I think um, people are so quick to, you know, help one another and, and, and be neighborly. And, you know, that's that's something, um, you know, I don't think you see everywhere. I think it's special. But in their blood is also a strong history of rebellion. The cover of the program for the borough's 100th anniversary celebration in 1992 says it best. Surrounded but as independent as the day we were founded. Mount Oliver is the only community surrounded by Pittsburgh neighborhoods that has never been annexed. Around the early 1900s, Pittsburgh was on an annexing blitz. By 1927, it had gobbled up neighboring Carrick and Knoxville, but the people of Mount Oliver resisted. They were trying to force Mount Oliver to annex as well. Um, but at the time, you know, Mount Oliver was booming, like the business district was booming. Um, its population was at its peak of over 7,000. Hopkinson says it was the very people of Mount Oliver who saved it. And they found that because it was over 7,000 in population, the city was not able to twist its arm and force the annexation. That's why to this day you see Mount Oliver with its own services like police, fire and government. A new coffee shop and cafe called Esht just opened in Mount Oliver this spring. Co-owner James Tyler says opening in the borough made the permitting and building process for he and his husband streamlined. The relationship between the borough and my husband was something very unique. He was able to talk to them about things and go over ideas and that helped the progress along. I'm sure there's bureaucracy there, but it's less of it in Mount Oliver than I would think it would be to open a business in Pittsburgh. Just across the street from Esht is Living History. Beckman Motor Company was opened in 1914. Its founder, Charles W. Beckman, was mayor, or Burgess, as it was called back then, during Pittsburgh's annexation attempt. Of course, I was little. We were young when he was in business here. His grandchildren still own and operate the shop to this day. It's a little borough surrounded by the city of Pittsburgh, and it's been like that forever, so... When things work, don't change. Despite nobody today, you know, being born in 1892 and Mount Oliver Incorporated, that culture, you know, that can-do attitude is still very prevalent today. Such a cool story, right? Well, Hopkinson told us the only challenge that he sees with being independent is cost. He says not having the pool of tens of thousands of people makes it a little bit harder, sometimes more costly, to supply services like their police department. Other than that, he says the borough enjoys its independence. If there's a question I can get answered for you, let me know. You can leave me a voice message at the number here on your screen, 412-244-4610, or you can jump straight in, send me a video message. You can share that with me in a Facebook message or by emailing askkelly at hearst.com.